I don't know anything about cancer diagnoses, right? But the idea that the, the, the New York, they're, they're so full of it. So page six, this is page six. And, you know, they wrote this hit piece on Harry, like Harry's an appalling man because, um, you know, William is stressed out about Kate's whatever. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I can't even say it anymore. But so then they go on to say here, um, the extent of his wife's illness was only hinted at when William had to pull out of his godfather, King Constantine's memorial on February 28th with just 45 minutes notice with officials saying it was for a personal reason. I mean, how completely profoundly just BS. First of all, Kate said in her cancer video, which has been largely debunked as being manipulated by AI, that cancer had been present after her surgery. When was her surgery? Her surgery was January 16th, um, just about, because I think that the, the palace announced on January 17th that Kate had had successful surgery the day before. So we knew on the 17th that the surgery had already been completed the fact that they said the day before is not even necessarily what it was. It could have been even before that because they lie, 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 and lie. But we know as of the 17th of January, Kate had completed her surgery, right? And one can assume that as is normal procedure, whatever they took out of her body was immediately taken in for tests, especially because of her VIP status in society. See, so she's a future queen of England. They're not going to put her stuff on a waiting list. They're going to test that right away. So you have January 17th, she's already on the mend because the surgery was completed the day before. So your surgery completed January 16th, let's say, at the latest, right? And then on February 28th, which is more than four weeks later, because February 17th would be one month later. So February 28th is like an extra 10 days, right? So it's like, okay, from, from January 16th to February 16th is one month, right? And 16 from 28th, is about 12 days. So that's another two weeks. So you're looking at six weeks later, right? They want us to believe that William suddenly had to pull out of his godfather Constantine's memorial service with 45 days notice, because apparently this is the day that William found out that cancer had been present in his wife and that she would have to get preventative chemotherapy. This is bullshit. This is bullshit because it would not take six weeks to do a biopsy on whatever they took out of her on January 16th, right? It takes a few days at a maximum. And in her situation, okay, I give her, you know, two weeks tops. I mean, these people have top of the line um, facilities and testing um, apparatuses and doctors and so on and so forth. And it's not going to take them an entire month to figure out that whatever they removed out of her body during a surgery that was completed on January 16th to, to figure out what the nature of that is, never mind six weeks later where they're going to have us believe that the doctors dropped that on William six weeks later with only 45 minutes to go before his godfather Constantine's memorial service. I don't know if that made sense to you. Again, Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace issued a statement on January the 17th, and they said that Kate had had a successful surgery the day before and that she would be 10 days in the hospital. Now, when that surgery is completed, whatever materials they took out of her body, they already took it out. They're not going to put that in the refrigerator, right? They're going to run tests on that right away. She's a VIP. She's the next queen of England, right? They want us to believe that those tests took six weeks to get a result and that conveniently 45 minutes 
before his godfather's memorial service on February 28th is when Kate got the news, right? And and that, um, you know, he had to pull out of the, the memorial service for that reason, right? This is nonsense because if you Google it, how long does it take to get a cancer diagnosis after surgery? It tells you a few days, a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. It's not going to take them six whole weeks to figure that out and then drop that on William with 45 minutes to go before he was to give a speech at Constantine's service. This is fake news. This is false. It's fake news. And, you know, it's fake news. I don't know why the New York Post is participating in this because it's just so ridiculous, right? I mean, if he couldn't go to the memorial service, he can't go to the memorial service. But don't try to shove it down our throats that he can't go because he somehow, you know, got news of cancer, Kate's cancer diagnosis, which was never the case in the first place. She never got a cancer diagnosis. She got a diagnosis that, you know what, there had been cancer. We, we did the surgery. We ran a biopsy. There had been cancer, but it's out or whatever. It had been. That's what she said. Kate said this. Cancer had been present. This is a verbatim quote. Go back and listen again. Cancer had been present. This is verbatim what she said. Go back and listen. I dare you. Go back and listen to what Kate said. She said, cancer had been present. We all speak English. That's past tense. Specifically, it's past perfect tense. Okay? It had been present. That means it's no longer present. And she's getting preventative chemotherapy, which is consistent. Why is she getting that? Well, the doctors scrape out whatever was inside of her, and they're giving her something out of an abundance of caution. It certainly isn't anything that six weeks later should have caused William to have to suddenly um, pull out of his godfather's memorial service. That's not the reason he pulled out. Everybody knows that. But the page six would, you know, they, they I guess they're talking to. Who do they think they're talking to? Do they think we are completely stupid? Honestly? Like, really? Okay, we can't code and we can't get us to Mars. But I mean... We can figure out, you know, an English sentence over here. You know what I'm saying? And we can deduce and we can deduct, right? William pulling out of Constantine's memorial service had absolutely nothing to do with Kate's di cancer diagnosis because Kate never had a cancer diagnosis. Kate said cancer had been present. That's not a cancer diagnosis. And they're going to give her preventative chemotherapy is something they're going to be doing over the course of, of a period of time. It's not going to be immediately right away that William, with 45 minutes to go for Constantine's memorial service, had to pull out. This is just BS. It's insulting BS, actually.